Welcome to Graph. In this video, we will take a look at how to rasterize a vector without losing quality. So rasterizing a vector image or text in Illustrator without use, losing quality can be done as following. You select your vector. It's yeah, This one is in the clip group, so everything is clipped together. If you have multiple separate vectors, you can select them all by using the shift button or just dragging all over over all your objects um, and the dimensions you will rasterize into will be the dimensions you see here so if you make your object bigger or smaller you will get a higher resolution image or a lower resolution if you make it smaller now before you go and rasterize be sure to copy everything onto a separate hidden layer or a separate artboard or a separate file so that you can always access them as a vector if you move forward the rasterize process is permanent and not easily undone i have made a video on how you can undo it if necessary i will link it in the description below but to avoid having to do so it's best to have a separate file, separate artboard, or layer with the original vector. Now, when you have everything selected, go to Object and then choose Rasterize. You will get a separate window, and here the color mode will be the default mode your uh, file is in. So CMYK if you store it in CMYK or RGB if you have RGB. And then you can also choose grayscale or bitmap. The resolution uh, depends on what you want to use it for. The 300 ppi is best for printing purposes, while the 72 is best for screen viewing and sharing online. You can choose other if you want to, and then you can yeah fill in what you want it to be. You can also use use document raster effects resolution um, so it takes the resolution of your working document now the background white or transparent doesn't affect uh, the image final quality so you can choose what you like there the anti-aliasing options uh, you can choose they smooth out and blur the rough edges by adding pixels around the edges and color boundaries when rasterizing your image um, the art optimized is best for art and the type optimized is best for text now yeah it depends on what you're doing so you choose what's best for you there and the other settings you can leave as they are now when you then press ok illustrator will start to rasterize your artwork which can take a while depending on what it's got to work with in your computer. Now, if you don't notice any difference, that means that's a good sign and you rasterized in high quality. And as you can see here now, you have an image instead of a clip group with separate vectors beneath it. So you won't have parts, you won't have anchor points like a vector object. It's now just one object because you rasterized it. And that's how you can rasterize your images or text in Adobe Illustrator. Now be sure to let me know in the comments below if you liked this tutorial. Be sure to also press the thumbs up if you did. And maybe the subscribe button with a little bell icon if you want to see more. And I hope to see you in the next one.